Hi guys, hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today I'm going to prepare a very tasty noodles. So in today's menu, I'm going to share with you how to prepare restaurant style Hokkien mee. So now not waste time, let's check it out. So guys, now to begin with, I'm going to add 3 tablespoons of cooking oil. So guys, now our oil is already hot. So next, I'm going to add about 5 cloves of garlic which I've already chopped. While our garlic is frying, I'm going to add a few strips of chicken. Next, I'm going to add 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce. And then I'm going to add 2 tablespoons of light soy sauce. Now let's mix them all together. And next, I'm going to add about 300 ml of water. Now, let the water come to a nice boil and then we'll add our noodles. So guys, as you can see, now water has started boiling. So now I'm going to add the noodles. So in my case, I don't have the yellow thick noodles. So I'm going to use an alternative. So in my case, I'm going to use the udon noodles. This is also fine. This is the nearest alternative you have. So now I'm going to add the noodles in. And then I'm also going to add some of the vegetables. So in my case here, I have a bit of carrot and also some cabbage. So I'm going to add it in. Mix it really well. Now I'm going to cover it and let it come to a nice boil and then we'll add our thick soy sauce. So guys, now as you can see, water has started boiling. Now I'm going to add 4 tablespoons of dark soy sauce. them all together next I'm going to add about one teaspoon of ikamilis powder mix it really well the reason why I'm adding the ikamdis powder is because it really gives the nice rich umami flavor so which we really need that so that's the reason why I'm adding it so make sure to add that and now let's just mix them all evenly and now let's cover the lid and let it cook until the water reduces so guys now Let's check our noodles. Wow, look at that. Mmm, the smell is so lovely. Let's mix them all very well. Mm. 
Okay, now, next, I'm going to add a bit of prawns and also fish cake. Our noodle is almost ready, so that's the reason why I'm adding the prawns at the end, so that it doesn't overcook. So I'm going to add a bit of sawi. Now just mix them all together and let the water reduce a bit more. And then our tasty Hokkien mee is ready. Now let it cook for another 3 minutes and then we are going to add our special ingredient. Wow! So guys, finally our Hokkien Mee is ready but, but, to finish this dish normally they used to add lard, pork lard but of course this is the halal version so in my case what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add fried uh, chicken skin okay this is it it's very crispy it's very crispy so i'm just going to break and sprinkle them on top so it's going to give a nice flavor and a bit of crunch then we are going to enjoy this noodle and also the fats so this is going to be really really good So there you go guys, a simple and a tasty restaurant style Hokkien Mee ready. So now as usual, it's time to eat. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So please like my video, share my video and also subscribe to my channel for more and more new upcoming videos. Thank you.